Last week, Martin County Sheriff's deputies arrested Julia Arney in connection to a puppy mill raid. She's facing 11 counts of cruelty to an animal. The Martin County Humane Society helped rescue the animals, taking them in after the raid. Continuing our coverage, News 10's Bureau Chief Gary Bryan caught up with the organization today. He takes a closer look at how the animals are doing. Last week, the Martin County Humane Society had to figure out what to do with 72 dogs rescued from a puppy mill raid. Now, a week later, organizers here say that the outreach from the community has been overwhelming. Last Thursday night was difficult for Susan Whitmer. I didn't even have my window down, and all I could hear was just dogs barking, barking, barking. Whitmer was one of the first to help rescue dogs during the puppy mill raid. My fear was, you know, what am I going to see? Um, you know, what kind of condition are these dogs going to be in? The Humane Society was able to rescue 72 dogs, many of those suffering from the highly contagious parvo virus. It's like constant bleaching, you know, everything else. So we just had to limit our volunteers and basically kind of shut down the shelter for uh, anybody other than just the normal people that are in there on a daily basis. Now the dogs are on the road to recovery and will soon be able to find their new homes. They're real shy, they're real leery. But they're starting to kind of go out on their own outside to go to the bathroom, and you know, they're a little leery sometimes still to come back in. The Humane Society has received roughly $30,000 in donations. The lady that delivers our mail said she, there were so many packages she couldn't fit them in her truck, and could somebody come to the shelter, could somebody come to the post office and pick them up? Whitmer says she's thankful for the support, but she also hopes people take notice of what's going on in their own community. This isn't just a, a single, you know, incident. It's happening every day. Um, and it may not be to this scale, but there's neglect everywhere. Whitmer says that last week's bus was just a fraction of a much larger issue. At 6 o'clock, I'll have more on the puppy mill problem in Martin County. In Ligoti, Gary Bryan, News 10.